Well, I want to see what has been going on with my garden and some of the things outside um, in the month of July. Hi everybody, uh, this is Elizabeth with Live Simple, Live Free, and we're going to start out today's video just looking at um, the early part of the month. You'll notice that the construction project hasn't even started yet, and um, be, you know, early on and, and looking at some of the roses and just seeing how things are growing. And then later on about, you know, part of the way through, um, I'll show you sort of the second half of this video where I came up with a very um, unexpectedly destructive little critter they got into my garden. Mm. Well, I'm getting some gorgeous roses and they smell so wonderful. Just look at this all over. <laughs> yep. My Dolly Parton here was looking really bad and we noticed that part of it looked like it was gonna live. I'm still trying to figure out how to take the best care of it. I think the Dolly Parton part was grafted onto this rose bush because now I'm getting a very different looking rose, but you know what? It's lovely and it smells good. And I'm just thrilled that it's alive. Um, just a real quick walk here. Just, oh, they're beautiful. Right there, hoo hoo. Right there, uh, This one just had yellow uh, rose. No, this is still pink. And they're gonna be coming back up. I got, in fact, I got a deadhead this thing. Oh, look at the rose hips. Isn't that cool? good source of vitamin C. But anyway, these are going to be getting more pink. And then we've got the yellow. Um, and see how beautiful this is. It's like tinged with pink and then yellow. And I got another one coming up here. This one's finally taking hold and really growing this year. <laughs> so I'm thrilled. Here is the gorgeous cow that, of course, Barry made this uh, sculpture that we have. But it works perfectly for training like my cucumbers up. So we have very healthy cucumbers and it's kind of all mixed in with this really nice tomato. It's an indeterminate tomato and uh, I'm making sure that the tomato doesn't get overwhelmed by the cucumber. But so far they're coming right up the cow and I think it's going to work really well. <laughs> I think I'm going to officially announce that this is no longer a fig twig. <laughs> the fig tree is really coming up. and. Uh, some people have expressed some concern wondering if the main fig growing part have been grafted. But you know what? This is coming up healthy. I'm going to give it a good chance. And um, just trust that I'll end up getting some nice figs off of this when it gets to be big. So, but it's alive and it's growing and that makes me happy. We've allowed a few peaches, just enough to not overwhelm the tree, to be growing this season. And there's one of them. I think we have three. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to seeing how that grows as it goes along. The main thing for all three of these trees, the apple tree, the peach tree, and the fig tree, is to get them well established and as healthy as I can. Well, we have watermelon, not watermelon, pumpkins growing here, and squash, and some volunteer squash from last year, and then four pepper plants that are starting to get some peppers on them here and here and here and um, they're starting to do well and uh, Molly and I are really trying to keep an eye out for squash bugs get rid of the seeds I mean the seeds the eggs and the squash bugs and we've been trying to stay ahead of them and what do you do with squash bugs squash them you squash them <laughs> and um, yeah we just have to get them off of the off of the plants so but this is just growing like crazy these, these are pretty resistant to being eaten by deer and, and birds and stuff, so we can just keep this open now and let things sprawl. So it's exciting. It's just growing like crazy.
So everything's been going just fine. And then I went out one day and I had just been picking zucchini and everything was great. And all the zucchini plants were dead. And before I could even turn around, all the squash plants were dying. And I talked to Molly about it as quickly as I could. And she did some investigating and found this little critter that actually kind of bores into the actual stem of the plant and begins to kill it really quickly. So I'll show you here our discussion about it and what we had to do to clear things out and what we did to try to treat whatever was left. So that has been a learning curve. I never dealt with something like this before. My uh, oh. brilliant daughter-in-law here, Molly, has done some research. We just all of a sudden from literally one day to the next, my zucchini were just dead. You know, and I had gotten some zucchini off of it, enjoyed it, taken some to Molly, but um, all of a sudden it was just bleh. And um, so now we notice that it's starting to happen in here. So Molly did some research. And can you explain, Molly, what you found out about what this is? Uh, it is a uh, squash vine borer, and they start out at the, um, the level of the soil, and they bore into the vine, just like their name suggests, and they, um, they destroy the plant. Um, from the inside, so it's not something that you can spray. Um, cooperative extension if you, uh, suggests if you can catch it really early to inject um, Bt into the vine, but we're so far beyond it. They've actually um, they're coming out of the fruit on the um, fruiting end, and so we're going to go ahead and. Um, bag and dispose of these so they don't drop into the soil and reinfest next year um, or we'll have fewer next year perhaps or not grow squash. So it seems to be only going after things that are squash. Yeah. Yeah, because it looks like the... And zucchini. Well, zucchini well, is, is a type of squash. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, anything that's actually a squash. Um, my pumpkins have been... Oh, we have such beautiful one, two, three, four, five, six pumpkins that they're destroying. If you can get that hole, hun, to show what they're doing there. Well, no, Barry dug into Barry that. Barry dug in a little bit. Oh, okay, but, but to find out what's going on. And they're, they're, so they're demolishing the inside of the fruit. So, um, um, anyway. I guess you can get to that one coming out. Oh, goodness, okay. Well, we're going to clean all this out. Now, the peppers seem to be fine. They're oh, not yeah, a squash. Oh, we'll yeah, yeah. We'll, just, uh, we'll just keep the peppers growing. Yeah. Open oh, up bad. Bag yeah, let me get a trash bag. Yeah. Uh, you want to show what the vines look like? This was such a shock to me. They start cracking open and they've got sawdust looking stuff that comes out of them. And these stretch quite a bit, so we should be able oh, to cram yeah. a lot in there. So the uh, melons that were left in the other bed. I see one um, of them doesn't look so good. But oh, I gotta go check that. Because we have watermelon and we have cantaloupe over there. Now the sweet potatoes and the root vegetables and the, the cucumbers and the tomatoes are going gangbusters. Um, so it's been this this garden this year has been like a girl with a curl in the middle of her forehead. What's doing good is very good, and what's doing bad is, oh man. What is wormy? Is, what is horrid. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they just destroy it, right? I mean, there's not, they destroy it right at the very base. That's why I was so shocked that the zucchini were gone from like one day to the next. That's no. one of them. We'll, and we'll clean this dirt out the best we can. It's just, I had none of these last year. Did they just suddenly decide to show up, or um, is there any chance? They're laid by, they're laid, the eggs are laid by a bug that kind of looks like a moth. Okay. Or it's related to a moth. Actually, it just looks like a bug. They're kind of red. Okay. And so we just ended up getting some laying here because I didn't have any of this last year. So, okay. Uh, see what we can cram in. I'll get more bags. Okay. Here, I'll get another bag. That's a bit. Night crawlers. They got great night crawlers in there which is great. Yeah, I felt like the dirt was healthy, you know. Oh, whoop. Well, my head. Right, I'm just gonna set this right here. Yeah, and we'll, when they're full, we'll just set them down here. Well, 
they were sure going to be pretty little pumpkins. Oh man, it just it just destroys the whole foundation of the plant. All right, so we got everything cleaned out of this bed except for the peppers. They're doing fine. We've got four pepper plants here. Molly just took a couple of the ones that are supposed to be picked green to see how they're doing. So at least my peppers are okay in here. The, uh, we ran into issues, I think, once again, with there being a little bit too much wood in the dirt that we got. It just, excuse, it just hadn't rotted long enough. Um, and so my lettuces and stuff just didn't seem to come up. But the salsify is doing great. Par parsley is, and I got four st stalks of asparagus now, which I think is really cool. <laughs> so we cleaned up this bed when all the zucchini suddenly died, and Molly's going to check into maybe treating my squash and watermelon just to make sure those same little weird worm things don't get into the stems and kill them too. Okay, Molly has brought down something called BT, and she said it's a bacillus. It's a kind of a bacteria that will keep little grubby worm kind of things from continuing to feed. Um, but it is uh, organic. It's not going to hurt any people, animals, something like that. And there's actually um, a syringe. And this little, um, I'm pretty sure this is um, cantaloupe. Um, this little cantaloupe plant, you know, we really didn't expect this uh, stuff to spread to the melons. But there is some leaves growing weird here. Leaves are growing strangely here. And as we look, there is like a little hole in the stem and we can see some something going on here. So I will do my best to see if I can kind of inject this into the stem. That's how you're supposed to do it. And uh, if you know, if you take a second and look over at this one, you can see that, that the leaves are much better. They're, you know, they're not forming strangely like these have been. So I'm just gonna, I've never given a shot to a plant before. But let me see what I can do here. All right. All right, um, I don't know if you wanna try to, this actually looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. Do you wanna try to see if you can come over here on this side? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so I'm just getting this like, and it just goes right into the stem quite uh, easily. I got to be careful not to go out the other side. And I'm just going to put, I don't know how much really to put in there, but yeah, that went up into the stem. All right. So you think I should try the others? Um, or just spray them on the outside and we'll watch them. I don't see any holes on the other ones. Right. The watermelon just looks a little bit weird. Let's just spray it on the outside and see if we can keep anything from entering. Good. Now, I think I got a pretty good little dose up in that stem. So I'm just going to set this down carefully. Um, do you want us to put this back into the bottle? Um, let's, uh, I'm going to make sure that the lid is on good. And yeah. I guess go ahead and. I'll give, um, I'll give, um. Uh, I guess all three of them a good spray. Yeah, I just concentrate on the area close to the dirt. Okay. All right. So we're just going to try to give this same stuff um, here a good spraying right around like that. Yeah, that's just right by the dirt there. I'll go ahead and treat this a little bit too. And whoa. <laughs> Okay. Right. Yeah. Do you think it, it has gotten anything that has contaminated this? Um. Probably not. But what I'll do is I'll I'll just take it back up and like dis dispose of it. Okay, if you're sure. Yeah. While we've got this um, caterpillar stuff out, we're gonna go ahead and spray. A little bit on the tomato just to protect against tomato hornworm, um, okay. which, which uh, can do a lot of damage in a hurry to anything related to tomatoes. Well, and this is all organic and safe to use, so that's wonderful. Yeah, it's not going to hurt anything. Well, good. This will be a preemptive strike. notice 
notice any damage, we'll just we'll spray it again. Um, okay. So if we notice anything happening, we can give it another spray. Yeah, and the, the, the worms are really, they get, they get huge. So they're easy to spot. They're pretty easy to spot, as long as you can see green on green. Right. <laughs> yeah, earlier today I was all excited that I had found a ripe tomato, but it was the uh, red part of Lucy the cow here. <laughs> and of course I have this lovely orange lawn ornament right here beside the tomatoes. <laughs> Well, um, thanks, Molly. That... You're very welcome. All right. All right. Now, my sweet potato bed is going to town. And uh, look at the flowers. They're beautiful. Let me see if I can get... Just beautiful flowers coming up here. <laughs> and I've got, you know, carrots and beets and parsnips still growing. Aren't the flowers beautiful? But yeah, this, this bed is very, very happy. Another place, another, another place that's doing really well is here at the cow, at my dancing cow. Um, cucumbers are climbing right up. We've got a bunch of tomatoes that are just getting bigger now and we've been picking the uh been picking the cucumbers and they're wonderful so yep this is happy as a lark so that's really good okay we've had a couple pretty dry days i'm going to give them a little bit a little bit to drink well thanks for joining with me today i'm um i'm just grateful for everything that is still growing well out there and I'll try to get figured out, you know, what to do, whether we need to just skip the whole squash family for a year and see if the earth, the dirt there can be fallow or cleaned out from whatever those critters were. But I do have some really nice things growing, and I'm grateful for that. The fruit trees are doing fine. And even though my roses are getting chomped, um, they're still growing and getting strong. So anyway, just wanted to let you know what's going on um, as of the month of July. And, of course, you can see with all the stuff dug up that our project's been well on its way. So, listen, love you guys, and live simple, live free, and be blessed. And um, we will see you shortly. Okay, bye-bye.